And there came a time known as the third millennium, a time when the people of the earth were ravaged by disease, pestilence, and poisons, a time when the horsemen of the apocalypse ran the multinational corporations, a time when America's citizens were waking up to a future of no money and no jobs. A time when a special man came forward, a man that your American taskmasters did not want you to see or hear, a man whom they took prisoner and hid away, a man whose name is Yahweh bin Yahweh. For telling people the truth, Yahweh bin Yahweh was taken prisoner by the minions of darkness. For giving people hope, Yahweh bin Yahweh was led away to Golgotha. This is the continuing story of the past and of the future, about good and about evil, about your life and what it will become. A story that tells why the so-called black man of America had to suffer for over 400 years. A story of what will happen to the so-called black man if he returns to the laws, statutes, judgments, and commandments of God, you hey wav hey. Olam, shall, shall you hey wav hey. Wav hey. The universe, the universe of, of you, you hey, hey, wow, hey, hey, hey. Brought, brought to you by, by the nation, nation of you, you hey, hey, wow, hey, hey. Working for you and your future. Good or evil, life or death. This is your choice in this, the year 6003, the year of judgment. Shalom and welcome to the universe of Yahweh. My name is Josiah Israel, and I am your host. For over seven years now, we have been discussing some of the things the Bible said would occur in the day of judgment. We warned you that the weather was going to change and that the powerful forces of nature were going to bring terrible destruction upon America and the world, and that it was going to get worse and worse and worse. And it has. We alerted you that violence in the public schools was going to increase, and it has. We showed you in the scriptures that forewarned of wickedness in high places, and we are witnessing today gross misconduct and serious crimes being committed by some of our highest elected officials. What lies ahead for America and the world is nothing less than the proliferation of deadly diseases and plagues as foretold in the Bible. But there is hope. The Bible tells us that at the end, the Messiah would be revealed. And at that time, he would save the righteous from this impending destruction. That one, the Messiah, is Yahweh bin Yahweh. So we invite you to join us in the universe of Yahweh featuring the commandments of Yahweh and the Messiah revealed. First, the commandments of Yahweh. For 6,000 years, we have been suffering at the hands of rulers who transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh and teach all people throughout the earth to transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh. In order to have peace, love, and harmony upon the earth, we must return to keeping the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of yud heh wav -Heh. All of us have been taught that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do not count today. In this series, we will show you that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do count, and that if we govern our lives according to these commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of God yud heh wav -Heh, then we will have peace and goodwill upon the earth forever. We invite you to study along with us 
However, in order to do so, you must have the following tools. A King James Version of the Bible, several dictionaries, the New Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, a set of encyclopedias, Hebrew and Greek lexicons, a thesaurus, and a synonym finder. Shalom. My name is Ben Kyle Bethel Yishraya. Yahweh put Adam in the Garden of Eden and gave him the first two commandments ever given to man, which were to dress it and to keep it. Last week, we studied the intrinsic parts of the word get, which is the present tense of the past participle gotten. We learned from the word get that over a period of time, members from within the nation of Yahweh have given false information to the chief priests, the FBI, and to the scribes, the media, in consideration of receiving something as an equivalent exchange. It is written in Luke chapter 22, verses 4 and 5, that the chief priests covenanted with them for money. From our diligent examination of the word money, we learned that the FBI and the media have a written contract which is sealed and enforceable by law between two or more hypocrites associated within the nation of Yahweh. The contract guarantees them a great amount of worldly possessions in exchange for their false testimonies and stories about Yahweh ben Yahweh. In addition, it guarantees them that any useful material things capable of being bought or sold for future settlement of affairs may also be exchanged for their false testimonies. For example, these false testimonies and stories about Yahweh ben Yahweh may be sold for publication in books, magazines, and newspapers, and even made into movies. We also learn from the definition of the word money that the particulars of this contract to date are being held in escrow by a third party until certain conditions are fulfilled and that when all the conditions stipulated in the contract have been fulfilled, then the Judas family, two or more hypocrites associated within the nation of Yahweh, will receive their payments in full from the U.S. government and the media. We are still discussing the word keep. Keep in Hebrew is shamar, and one of its meanings is watch. Watch is defined as to be on the lookout, be expectant. So to keep the Garden of Eden from the perspective of watch means that Yahweh commanded Adam to teach his seed to be on the lookout for or to be expected of the future birth of a child, like unto Moses, who would return or restore us, the children of Israel, to the Garden of Eden, the Promised Land. Revelation chapter 1 verse 5 tells us that this one would be the first to be gotten of the dead. Today, we shall continue our course of singling out the family of Adam from the perspective of the word watch and its relationship to keep. We are going to show you some more startling facts that will continue to prove that Yahweh ben Yahweh is the first to be gotten of the dead by the Judas family as we continue to carefully examine the intrinsic parts of the word get, which is the present tense of the past participle gotten.
In the Random House College Dictionary, Revised Edition, Copyright 1988, on page 554, the word get also means to capture. Referenced in the American Heritage College Dictionary, Copyright 1993, on page 209, capture means to take captive as by force. Captive on this same page means taken and held prisoner. On page 531, force means the use of physical power to restrain. Documented in the Synonym Finder by J. I. Rodell, copyright 1978, on page 1030, restrain is equivalent to arrest. Therefore, from our definition of the word get, we can deduce that it was the false testimonies communicated to the FBI over an extended period of time by the Judas family from within the nation of Yahweh that resulted in Yahweh bin Yahweh being taken and still being held by the United States government. In fact, on November 7, 1990, more than 300 FBI agents, ATF agents, SWAT team members, and local law enforcement officers came with a great show of physical weapons to arrest Yahweh bin Yahweh and 16 of his followers. They came with enough weapons, shotguns, M16s, etc., to kill thousands. You witnessed in the footage you just saw that there was, in fact, a great show of physical power used to arrest Yahweh bin Yahweh. Now let's learn what this great show of force was all about. Stated in Webster's Seventh New Collegiate Dictionary, copyright 1965, on page 804, show is defined as to present as a public spectacle. On page 839, spectacle means something exhibited to view as entertaining. According to the Synonym Finder by J.I. Rodale, on page 357, entertain means the same as divert, to hide or conceal the feeling of. Thus, the arrest of Yahweh bin Yahweh with such a great show of force was exhibited to entertain the public so as to divert the attention away from or to hide or conceal the identity or feelings of someone else. To prove this point, let us tell you about two options that the U.S. government could have used in handling the arrest of Yahweh bin Yahweh. Option number one, the FBI could have contacted Yahweh bin Yahweh's attorney, who had already told them that Yahweh bin Yahweh had agreed to come in voluntarily. Listen to what he said. I had promised him that if anything happens, they were going to notify me and I would notify him and we would go down and surrender in the proper order. Option number two. The FBI could have used a great show of power, contacted the media to capture the arrest of Yahweh bin Yahweh and his followers, and then use this footage to broadcast worldwide as a public spectacle. The fact that you are able to watch this footage of the arrest of Yahweh bin Yahweh and his followers, it is obvious that the U.S. government chose option number two. From the perspective of the word get, which is the present tense of the past participle gotten, 
we can see clearly that this great show of physical power that was exhibited by the FBI to capture or arrest Yahweh ben Yahweh was to entertain the public so as to divert the attention away from or to hide or conceal the true identity or feelings of someone else. It was because of these unwarranted actions by the FBI that Yahweh ben Yahweh asked the question in Mark chapter 14, verse 48, and it reads, Are ye come out as against a thief with swords and with staves to take me? Next week, we will begin to decode the answers to this question as we continue to examine the intrinsic parts of the word get, as we follow our course of singling out the family of Adam from the perspective of the word watch and its relationship to keep. I bear witness to you today that the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, is here. I bear witness to you today that the Mahdi is here. I bear witness to you today that Shiloh is here. I bear witness to you today that the great light is here. I bear witness to you today that the Grand Master of the Celestial Lodge, Architect of the Universe, is here. I bear witness to you today that the Enlightened One is here. I bear witness to you today that the one all religion has been speaking of for over 6,000 years is here. Thank you for listening and join us next week as we continue our discussion of the commandments of Yahweh. The United States government has declared war against Yahweh ben Yahweh and the nation of Yahweh in its Project Megiddo report released by the FBI in October 1999. Do you know that this is fulfillment of prophecy? It was prophesied in Revelation 12:7 that there was war in heaven. Michael the Messiah and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. In the government's report, the nation of Yahweh is labeled as extreme terrorists, accused of believing that white people are incarnate manifestations of evil. We are even accused of preparing for a race war and are practicing paramilitary operations, none of which are true. This is a divinely declared word war whose end result was already declared from the beginning. Since war has been declared, read the Nation of Yahweh's battle plan called Operation Word War on the internet at www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. Loading, one moment please. The new Yahweh Ben Yahweh website now offers the latest in streaming technology to aid you in your study of the laws and teachings of Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Visit YahwehBenYahweh.com and learn about the Tetragrammaton, the meaning of the crucifixion, and how to keep the Sabbath. YahwehBenYahweh.com is your home for truth and insight. Read about Operation Word War and how you can work to balance justice. Shalom.
Most people are not aware of the fact that America is in the Bible. She is cryptically called Babylon, Revelation 18.2. In 1986, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, sent the president, vice president, his cabinet, every senator, and congressman, the book Yahweh Judges America, which warned them of the inevitable destruction of America. This book explains all that the prophets said would come upon America in the day of judgment. You can now read what Yahweh Ben Yahweh told the government over 10 years ago. To get a copy of Yahweh Judges America, call the number on your screen today. Who is worthy? Who is worthy to open the book? Who is worthy to open the book and loose the seals thereof? And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. At the end of time of evil rule, the Anointed One, the Messiah, shall appear. In 1979, Yahweh Ben Yahweh came to Miami and became the spiritual leader and founder of the nation of Yahweh. Although he took a vow of poverty, in seven years he guided the nation to amass a $250 million empire. Under his direction, the nation of Yahweh has grown to encompass disciples, followers, and supporters in over 1,300 cities within the U.S. and 16 foreign countries. Yahweh Ben Yahweh is bringing about changes in the lives of individuals and is giving the world the keys to success in life politically, economically, educationally, socially, and spiritually. Genesis chapter 16 describes an important revelation to take note of. The figure of the angel of Yahweh is at one time the messenger of Yahweh and at another time his double. So you may also recognize in the figure of the Messiah the dynamic will of the Old Testament God Yahweh to reveal himself and to be personally present with his own without however losing his supernatural character or destroying man by his unveiled presence for no man of his own will can see Yahweh we cannot see the face of Yahweh for there shall no man see him and live Exodus chapter 33 verse 20 on the other hand, under special divine circumstances, the chosen servants of Yahweh are blessed to see Yahweh face to face, as in Exodus chapter 33 verse 11. These are the special features of Yahweh, the God of Israel, which proves his omnipotence over and over again as the only true and living eternal one. Yahweh speaks to any point in the future of his will to be done, and no man or group of men is able to prevent his will. Thus, Yahweh is God of gods, King of kings, and Lord of lords. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 17. We must come to understand that we, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, are a national unit as the nation of Yahweh and our material existence and prosperity are affected by our breaking the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of Yahweh. Remember, 
that this is the morning of the third day, and I shall rise again. I am the resurrection. It, all of prophecy tells you that I shall rise again. It's all about that. Luke chapter 2, verse 34. No doubt about it. Again, I love you forever. Bless you forever. I remind you once again, my associates are children of the light. <laughs> that just brings uh, laughter to my heart, to my soul, to realize that at last, I have those of you that love peace. And I only want to be in the presence of those of you that love peace. I love you forever. Shalom Aleichem. Over and over again, Yahweh proves that he is the only true and living God. As in the figure of Yahweh, in the book of Genesis, Yahweh appeared as the messenger of Yahweh, and at another time, he appeared as his double. In like manner, his supernatural character is present here today, for the personification of Yahweh is being manifested in his son, the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh thus proving his omnipotence and his unchallenged title of God of gods, King of kings, and Lord of lords. Thank you for joining us in the universe of Yahweh. And now we'd like to invite all of you to pray with us as we turn to the east with outstretched hands and say a prayer to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. Come, let us pray. Tefillah. Ave nu shabashimayim, ye kadesh yameaka, tavo malkuteaka, ye ase razonka, ki vashimayim kain baaretz, et lekum kukainu, tain la nu hayom, uslak la nu, ar kati enu, ki mosha sol kim, gamanak nu, la koteum la nu, ve al tefi enu, le de nisayom, kim ka se nu, min hara, kila ka, hamam la ha, ve ha givara, ve ha tiferet, Leolame, Olamin Sila, we thank thee, O Yahweh, O living and eternal King, who has so mercifully restored our souls within us. Sila. Praise Yahweh, and always remember that the Father Yahweh and his Son Yahweh Ben Yahweh love you, and your host loves you too. Shalom Aleikum! To order the companion book to the series, The Messiah Revealed, call. 1-800-967-PEACE. That's 1-800-967-7337. And when you call, ask about the special discount on What is Heaven? Videos of this program are available. When ordering, please refer to the program number on the screen. You can now access the divine mind of Yahweh Ben Yahweh on the internet at the address on the screen.